Hey everybody, I've got a quick tutorial for you today on how you can have pretty much infinite inputs on the Steam Deck. Let's go. I've done a few videos so far on how best to implement using Steam input on the Steam Deck in order to maximize the number of games that you can really play on this awesome device. If you haven't seen those videos yet, there's a link in the description down below. Watch those after you finish this one. In those videos, I asked for tips and tricks from you all. What are you using the Steam Deck for? How are you utilizing Steam input in order to maximize the games that you can play? And this tip comes into us from Harkonnen. Harkonnen says, you can nest radial menus. For example, you can have a radial menu with three options, menu A, menu B, and menu C. And when you click one of them, a new radial menu appears, each with different commands. This is great for games with lots of key binds like real-time strategy games. And yes, this is something that I tried to do on my Steam controller way back in the day when the Steam input software first came out. I never really got it working exactly the way that I wanted, and so I never even tried it on the Steam Deck. And thank you, Harkonnen, for sending this in because I just tried it, and yes, it does work. So first off, I wanna show you how it actually works, and then I will show you how to do it yourself. For this example, I'm not actually binding inputs to the game that I'm playing. This is just generic inputs so that you can see how it works very, very simply. Let's get started. So as I touch the left trackpad, you can see that it brings up a menu of one, two, three, four. If I tap on the one button, it brings up A, B, C, and D. I hit the middle menu to go back to the main menu. Then I go to set two. I can see a different set of letters. I do the same thing again, go to menu three, a different set of letters. And then menu four, I even have not even a radial menu. I've just got a button menu. Uh, popping up. So in order to set this up, what you're going to want to do is open up your controller settings. Once you've got your controller settings, you hit edit layout. Under edit layout, you want to hit action sets and you want to add a new action set. Go ahead and name the action set, whatever it is that you want. In this case, I'm going to call it, call it five. Once you've got the action set uh, created, then just set over to any other part of the inputs and then use the bumpers to switch over to input five. Then you can set up your controls, however it is that you actually want. I'm gonna go down and set it to be a uh, radial menu. Uh, oops, I did a touch menu. I mean to do it as a radial menu. Uh, and then I'm gonna go to my different commands. The first one, I'm gonna set to action layer default. This takes me back to my main menu, and this is gonna be in the middle of my radial menu. And then I'm gonna go through and hit different letters for the different inputs on the radial menu for action layer five. Once I've got that set up, the next thing that I have to do is go back to my default action layer and I need to add a way to go to my new action set. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this button right here and then action sets, change action set all the way down to five and hit confirm. Once I've done that, everything should be set up properly. However, what I like to do is rename that action set so that it pops up on screen. So if you click on the cog wheel, hit rename command, you tap in the spot and then hit five, and in this case I said five, but you can put whatever you want on there, then it's gonna be all set. Now, when I go back to my game, you can see that instead of four inputs, I've got five now. And if I go over to my fifth one, and click, it's gonna bring my W, X, Y, Z buttons, and then go to the back to the middle to get back to the default menu. So using this method, you can theoretically have an infinite number of inputs on Steam input, which means you can essentially play pretty much any game and the controls are not going to get in your way. If you found this video useful, then you'll probably also wanna check out this video on Steam input and maybe this video on tips for new Steam Deck owners. Check out the description for a bunch of other stuff and I'll see you on the next one. Bye everybody.